Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sport, and welcome back to seemingly your favorite series on the channel, and it is obviously the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. series. How are we doing, guys? Welcome to this new episode, Last Epi. Oh my god, what a mess it was. Last episode, we got injured for 211 days, and we had to go through the entire season. Oh, and it's Bardi signed for West Ham. <laughs> okay, GG's. Um, that's a cool one. I really want to play in the Prem now against West Ham. Apart from that, though, last epi, obviously, we got injured for the season. Now we are here in season two. And we are requesting a transfer. It will happen, but that doesn't mean I'm necessarily leaving the squad. Again, now, I can't do anything, apparently. I can only retire, so that's cool. It does say, though, submitted a transfer request. What I'm worried about here is that this is glitched and I'm stuck at Salford forever. Um, another good thing that you guys might have noticed in the last epi was that Wayne Rooney, or not Wayne Rooney, Hi Rooney, is the captain of our squad now. And this season, there's an actual chance of us playing alongside him. And a lot of people, a lot of people in the last epi were saying, Johnny, stick around and play with Rooney. And you know what? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But as soon as they sell him, I'm out of here. I am out of here. If you guys enjoy the Cristiano Ronaldo series, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Of course, subscribe if you are new and turn on the notifications. Let's try and hit over 3,500 likes on this one. No, no, 6,000 likes. Charlie doesn't know what he's talking about. It's me, Biscuit the Editor. Do as I say, 6,000 likes. These videos do so well, and I want to thank you for the support. Even though there are comments like this one from Dami, who says, series so good, it should be posted every day. I don't want to do it every day, guys, because it ruins it. Trust me, if you post something every single day, it just ruins it. The YouTube algorithm kills it. So we don't want that to happen. Let's keep this series alive and functioning. By the way, huge shout out to Kevin Berko here. There's a comment from Anonymous, Anonymous Me and he says, Ronaldo's left back every game. Look at me. I'm the left wing now. <laughs> this guy every time, bro. And I now know why. He sucks. He has a 55 rating. And I would assume his positioning is one of the worst ones you can find out there. I mean defensively he's absolutely horrifying attack positioning 47 i just wonder which one is the defensive positioning why is there there we go defensive awareness 47 yeah this guy is terrible now there was a comment in the last episode which made a lot of sense it came in from edward mainwood who says maybe take away some of the assigned skill points as he could have regressed due to his long time out of the game and you can make it a few games to get back to his top form you know what i kind of agree with that we should be taking away some points we have been injured for nearly an entire year so i'm thinking most importantly pace right what's gonna happen here is i'm gonna take away the archetype node yes that takes away minus seven sweet uh, sp um, acceleration and minus six sprint speed i think that's a fair way of running around with uh, a an injury basically that makes us a lot slower and physically as well i'm gonna take away some strength i guess here with this archetype node as well but as soon as we start doing better, we can apply those once again. For now, though, I'm taking away the archetype nodes, which drops me down to a 74 rating, just like it does with uh, your career mode players normally. When you have injuries, uh, they do tend to take a little bit of time. Uh, they go down by minus one, and then you can get them back up again. That's the process we're going for here as well, to keep it somewhat realistic. Oh, by the way, new season and you have to do new trading drills. So uh, actually, you don't have to. That's cool. I, I thought you had to, but I, you couldn't load up the other ones. Now, the thing is that I don't like here is the fact that you can just go ahead and select the ones that you have already completed and then just simulate throughout eternity. Uh, it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you do it yourself. Of course, it does. It gives you like bonus because you played it. It's not significant, though, in my opinion. It's like 100, 200 points. We do level up, though, to level 14. Clutch finisher perk unlocked. Let's see what that is about. It says increases your shooting attributes during the last 50 minutes of exit and extra time. Grants the finesse shot outside the foot shot. Power headed trait increases your weak foot ability. It is pretty similar to what we had as our initial first perk, wasn't it? The distance shooter one, I believe it was. It gave you finesse shot outside of the foot and five star weak foot as well. I feel like that one's still better because it, it's not just 
limited for the last few minutes of a game. So I don't quite understand why they gave us these two. I mean, this one has the power header, which could be useful, but I think this one's still better. Now, since we haven't made it into the starting lineup yet, or even the bench, we are going to watch our teammates get things done. Um, Rooney didn't score in that game. We did lose in the cup, which is okay. I don't really mess about with the cup too much. Uh, unless it's the FA Cup, then it is quite important to me. I don't think that was the FA Cup, was it? I'm not too sure, actually. Uh, but we are moving on into the Crew Alexander game. It will come down to me constantly training and uh, getting the opportunity to be playing as a substitute again. So that's one of the only ways for us to get involved. We are currently still in the reserves, so it's another game that we have to quick sim. But after 211 days of being injured, it's nice to see Rooney score. That is beautiful. That might just be the first time we've actually seen Kai Rooney score in a long time. He did have a good season towards the end of the last season. He was carrying the squad by himself, which is beautiful to see. One thing I want to check out real quick is how is Barcelona doing? Because as you guys know, Thiago Messi is at Barca. I have played against him in the Sprint to Glory. It was 90 something rated and he was insane. Uh, Barca right now, after, after three games, they're on six points. Hopefully, he can carry them into the Champions League. And when he does, I want to be there to meet him with the likes of Manchester United or Real Madrid or a different team. Who knows what's going to happen? But we also have that transfer request still put in. Uh, I can't take it away for some reason. It seems glitched. I hope that will not be an issue. And also, we're approaching transfer deadline day. Well, transfer deadline day is running out. No offers for us, sadly, which is a little bit of a letdown. I was thinking maybe we can think about leaving the team and look at the offers, but that's not how it's looking right now. Did I just see Griezmann joining? Griezmann has joined Atalanta. Wow, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, another thing that I wanted to check out was who has our team signed? Like, which players have we brought into our squad? to go ahead and take us to the next level. Now, we are looking at League One, obviously. And in League One, we do have a little bit more money. Now, we have let go of King, Torre, and Rotario. Pretty interesting to see. No players have come in. Okay. Seems like we have earned our position as a substitute in the game against Ipswich, who are second in EFL League One. And we are down 3-0. We're coming on. Rooney is playing. That's all I want. First game in the new season. Back from injury. Let's see. We come in as a left back. Seems like I was complaining so much about the left back that the, the coach just decided, you know what? If you don't like him, go ahead and replace him. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to take here, man. I'm going to get crushed anyways, genuinely. So we're going to go for the cross success rate, I guess. Uh, I'm a left back now. Like, what are we doing? Move it over to us, man. Move it over to us. All right, we're going to do this. Cristiano came on as a sub and now running away from people. Cristiano. Nice. You want me to be a left back? Good luck with that. I'm going to be attacking just like the left back did before me. I'm going to be a left wing. Bro, I'm like left wing. Why does this not tell me to move back? You can't contain me at left back. I will not allow that. See, I'm not going to celebrate that one too much because obviously we're 3-1 down. That just went right through the legs of the opponent, didn't it? Yeah, I think it might have just gone right through the legs of the opponent. There is a patch coming up, by the way. Look at that. that yeah, he just jumped up. That's so unlucky. Um, there's a patch coming up that's going to be affecting goalkeepers inside the box. It's going to make them worse. It's going to make it more possible to score inside the box, which has been a very hard thing. That's why a lot of people resort to doing this. Um, we also have um, long shots being somewhat affected as well now with goalkeepers being bumped up in ability with new animations coming in for them to go ahead and save long shots. Um, but it says it's just a slight increase. So I'm really desperately hoping that they don't ruin FIFA 22 as it is because I personally have a great time playing it. I'm just glad that I scored a goal, bro. This is insane performance from us here. Uh, I got an interception in. I got a goal in. What, what more do you want as a left back? Kai Rooney gets the ball back here. Kai. Go on then, Kai. Good passing. Oh, Kai passes it back to me. I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. 
Shoot. Why is no one shooting? Kai, you were supposed to be the one to shoot, man. But I'll take it, man. Our first interaction with Karini in the new season worked out quite well there. I'm happy with myself, but it's a goal and a loss. So we can't be too happy at the end of this. But it's nice to see us come back and even score as a left back, I guess. I guess we're now the new Roberto Carlos. After playing against second placed Ipswich, it's time to play against Wigan. Wigan is fourth. Our team is 15th. I wonder, is this going to be a season in which our squad is going to be trying to combat relegation? Or is there any chance of us taking part in the top table? Uh, top half of the league table, I should say. Um, currently, the teams that are up there, Ipswich has taken over number one. Wigan is up there. Um, Luton Town is in there. Wickham is in there. Plymouth is in there. Pieface's squad is in there as well. I would say, after that decent performance... We um, could enable one of the archetype nodes. I'm not going to go for the pace one because I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer to upgrade the pace. But we can bring back bring back the strength into, into Ronaldo Jr. How about that? I think that's a, that's a fair thing. It still keeps us at the 74 rating, but gives us something back. After that game, the confidence should be high. Why am I coming on as a left back? Why? Why? What? Oh, well, why? <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to try and put a cross on Rooney's head, I guess. But it's only 1-0, so we could have an impact. Here we are now, and our objective, lads, is to go ahead and get a tackle success rate. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, all right? Pass success rate is going to be important as well. Match rating of 7.0 should be easily done if we do touch the ball. Asante? Oh, that's not the Asante I know. The Asante I know scores bangers from outside the box. Maybe I'll go for a cross here. Kai Rooney, though, inside, just waiting for the ball. Great back heel from Kai. He really loves his back heels, doesn't he? I thought that was the comeback there. Let's move it. Let's move it, Kai. All right, lads. I'm moving the team forward. I'm not doing this by myself, though. We got our left wing, our actual left mid. Moving in. You can pass it to me, mate. I'm right here. Yes, this is what we do. We got players surrounding us. Inside, Kai! My God, Kai, it could have been my first assist for you, man. Oh, that's so upsetting. Oh, that's a good pass, you know. Kai makes a good run. Go on. Yes, come on. It's the first time Kai Rooney and Cristiano are linking up with each other. Let's go. Yes, man. That's been what I've been dreaming of. That's what I wanted. Yes! I move forward as a left back and we play that amazing through ball. Hey, you know what? Maybe we stick around with Salford. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just feels so good to be able to work with him here. Kai Rooney scores the goal to bring us back into the game. We get ourselves an assist. Asante gets subbed off. Maybe the coach realizes that I'm not a left back and I should be playing further forward. That's a good ball down my wing. Oh, I'm out of position there immediately. You can just tell, man. My, I'm... Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? We concede that, bro? You concede that? Are you actually a goalkeeper? It was like straight at him. <sighs> Mate, that's ridiculous. I would love to see the replay of that one because I am pretty sure that was easily savable. Great pass, nonetheless. Our center back is sleeping. It's right next to him. He's trying to parry something that's down there. The ball is up there. Look at his hands. Look at his hands. What's he doing? The ball is up above you. Oh, my God. How does he concede that? This guy's trash. Oh, man. We're going to lose this, aren't we? This is such an upsetting game. I got my first assist for Rooney, and this is what we get from it, man. Yikes. Go on, Kai. Go on, Kai. Go oh, Why am I saying Kai? Rooney. Oh, my it's Cristiano, isn't it? I just keep saying Kai because I'm so obsessed with Kai Rooney and the partnership in between both of us. But at the end of the day, it's an L that we take. I'm very happy with this moment right here. It felt absolutely amazing. It's the first time that Kai and Ronaldo have worked together really well there. Still, a loss is a loss and that doesn't mean that we have done well. Transfer offer! <gasps> We have a transfer offer from Norwich City. Ooh, this is... Oh, God. The timing. The timing of this is so bad. Oh, just as I get my first assist for Kai, 
We get an offer from Norwich. Where are they? Are they in the Prem? They are not in the Prem. They are in the Championship. You know what? That makes it even better. That makes it even better. I have to admit, man, I am very keen on joining Norwich because I actually really like them. Norwich is in the eighth position right now. And, ooh, I, I want to join. I want to join. I really want to join. It's such a good offer because it's not too far of a step up. And it's still entertaining because we joined into the championship and we'd probably be fighting for promotion into the Premier League. If I'm looking for a storyline, this is the perfect offer. I didn't expect anything like this. We have gone from getting offers from Monterrey over to Norwich now. Oh, that puts me into a weird spot. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Let me see. I want to see how Norwich is lining up here. The good thing is we can actually check it out. So Norwich is playing with Tim Krul. They're playing with Max Ahrens, who is an amazing fullback, obviously. We have Gibson and Hanley at centre-back. Janoulis at left-back. He'd be playing behind me. I wonder if he's going to be bombing forward like the other ones. Les Melo is a really good midfielder. Rashica. Oh, my. Puki as well. Solis. Maybe. Just maybe. We have to play a different position if we join this team. Because Rashica is probably playing above Puki, I would assume. Or they are both competing for a position. Solis is a super talented player. Who plays on the right for this team? Who's a right midfielder? Alvarez. I don't know who this Alvarez is. Maybe we play for Norwich as a right winger rather than playing down the left-hand side, which would take away our ability to score those banging finesses unless we become a five-star weak foot player. Mate, it's such a good offer. It is such a freaking good offer, guys. I gotta be real with you. I enjoy playing with Salford and stuff. I enjoy playing with Kai, but I feel like we're too good. I feel like we're too good and the championship would actually be a challenge because we can't just run past people like we do here and just finesse it from outside the box that easily. It's going to be way harder. And I think in terms of a step up, this is the perfect deal. It is the perfect deal, man. There were so many comments conflicting in the comments down below. There were so many people saying, Johnny, stay at Salford, play with Rooney. Then there were other comments coming in and saying, Johnny, move away from Salford, get yourself a better team. Your player is too high rated already for this league. And it is just true. And we already had technically had a season with Salford in which we have done well enough and then got injured. We had an amazing season with over 20 goal contributions. And I just think it's the right move, man. I think it's the right move. Norwich City, I or I should say Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. after talking to his dad has decided it is the right choice to move up into the championship and fight for promotion into the Premier League. I'm all about this one, man. I think we're going to look class in that kit as well. Confirmed. We are signing our first deal. Yes. Now we are still at Salford here. And uh, we're up against Leighton Orient. We're going to be jumping to the result here. I got subbed on as a striker this time. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Oh. Hold on a second. I just realized we accepted the deal after the transfer window. We're not in the transfer window anymore. Oh, we get half a season with Salford then. There we go. Perfect solution. Half a season with Salford, boys. And then, in January, we, we move over to the championship. That's good. That gives us... That should make everyone happy. We have half a season with Rooney. And then after that, we move across. I love that. Absolutely love it. I shouldn't have simmed that game. Charlton Athletic, just a few points above us in the league table. We're going to jump in there. And we're going to come on as a left back again. I, I thought I genuinely I don't want to play as a left back. I'm sick and tired of playing as a left back. I'm doing well, but that's just not my position. We win 3-0 though. GG's to our team. After I sub I got subbed on, we're winning. Coincidence? Don't think so. Port Whale, 18th in the league, and we get subbed on as a striker instead of Rooney. Okay, it's been a long time since we played striker. But this time, we're going to jump in. The enhanced target for this game is the match rating. We have to complete seven passes and score at least one goal. I'm all for it, man. I am going ham on this game. Tell me. I'm telling you that. I'm going to score some goals. There we go. Cristiano. Cristiano. Actually, we'll be passing it. There we go. That's football. Straight up. 
straight up included in the build-up. And we score a beautiful goal in the 65th minute. That's not it, though, man. I'm going all in now for Salford. Half a season to go. I'm going to give it my all. I think it's the perfect deal. January, we move over to Norwich. It's perfect. All righty. Cristiano gets the ball. Looks for help. Can't, can barely find it here. Maybe there's a good run now. We're going to run across the defenders. We have a left back or left wing getting into position. Plays it back. Left footed finish. I got to try my left foot at times as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Yes. No. What the hell? Why are we playing these weird ass passes? That's why. That's why. No, I should have scored. No. Hello, I'm open. Thank you. I see a teammate making a great run. Uh, I wanted to be nice. Why am I trying to be nice about this? I got to be a little bit more selfish as a striker. 7.6 rating and the game is done. Not necessarily achieved any objectives, I think. I should have done a little bit better for sure. But we got the win. Thanks to what? Thanks to that one moment where we passed the ball around and our team has done really well here with Melhado. Finishing it off with a decent strike. Keeper got to touch on it. It wasn't enough. Three points for Salford. And after this training drill, I think we might move into the starting 11. Level 15, goalkeeper perk, not necessary for us. And now that we're back into the starting 11, I think it's only fair to re-enable the, um, the archetype nodes. So let's go ahead and enable the pace one more time. I was lacking it in that, in that game. I can, I can feel it trying to get in behind people. But now we got that pace pack back. We're back to our full strength, 75 rated. And starting lineup alongside Rooney. Now things are going to get interesting. We are in that eighth position and we're now up against Burton Albion. Uh, what's it looking like at the top of the league table? How many points? 26 points. So that is nine points ahead of us with a game in hand though. So that's all right. This is all I ever dreamed of. Rooney up front, me on the left. Let's do this. Now I have gone for the enhanced target of getting a match rating, but we also have to get a possession uh, rate of 60% and a conversion rate of 60%. So I can't be taking too many shots from outside the box. But then again, as long as we do well, as long as we can get Kai Rooney to maybe get another goal off of an assist of ours, I'm going to be very happy. Well, here we go straight away. You're using that pace to our advantage. Cristiano is in a great position. Will he see Kai? He will! Yes! It's the second assist in between the two. Kai Rooney finishes it off, gets a bit lucky, gotta say it. The deflection makes it a little bit impossible for the keeper to get to it. But early on into the game, I see Kai immediately and we get that goal with him. I'm so happy, man. This is all we wanted. And now finally, coach has listened. I'm gonna take this away from whoever was chasing me down here. The left back is obviously wanting to join in. I'm taking my time on the wings. I don't have the left back to play the ball into, but I have a teammate here waiting. Come on, come on, come on lads. Wow, that's decent movement, you know. Play, play to me, yes. Play, no. I'm here. Play it. Kai! Woo! Just like his dad. Kai on his second. What a beautiful finish that was. I wanted to pass, didn't get it. But I guess I was wrong to ask for it because we clearly have a clinical finisher in the team now with Kai just taking shots and scoring easily. What a beast. Oh, what a ball on the turn from Kai. Here goes Cristiano. Cristiano looking for Kai's run himself. Kai gets it. Passes it though. Penalty ref. He got taken out. That's a pen. What are you on, on about there, man? Oh, what a tackle that is. There he goes. Kai Rooney on the run. Can he get that? He can't. That was not supposed to go that way anyways, man. Why did he play that pass like that? It was supposed to go to the left. Cristiano, well done. Running past this man. He's getting into his position to cross it in. Possibly, I see runners. It's a decent cross. It's a very good cross. And we might still get the goal. We do get an assist for that. That's ridiculous. How did I get an assist for that? I will take it though. I will take it. Two assists in this game. One for Kai and one for Low. Oh, wow. He just did him dirty there. 
That was a massive L that we took there. Oh, here we go. Go on, Rooney. Go on, Rooney. I see you. Run next to me. Run next to me. I see you. I still see you. I still see you. But I might go for this myself. Red times. What am I doing? What am I doing? Rooney, pass it to me, lads. I wanted to go too, if possible. That'd be nice. No? Okay, cool. All good. This could be one. Pa pass. Was I offside? I wasn't. Cristiano wanting this so badly and he finally gets it. 87th minute. This one we deserve. So, come on. Beautiful run in behind the defense. Paying more attention than anyone else in the team. And getting into the right spot. That is a beautiful thumbnail picture there. Right there with Rooney and Kai. Um, Rooney and Kai. Rooney and Cristiano in arms. What a beautiful finish that was as well. No chance for the keeper. Exactly the type of position that I've been wanting to get into this entire game. That will enable our enhanced target. That's a beauty of a match, boys. This was a huge step up for us. Oh, there we go. Kai, go along with me. Go along with me. Why is he not going along with me? I'm by myself. Kai, bang it. You have to be kidding. Oh my god. He did not just miss that. I, oh my, no way. How the hell does he miss that, bro? How is that even possible? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous to see that happen, but it's fine. I just wanted to be nice and give an assist at the end one more time, but it was one of our best performances. A goal and two assists. I couldn't be happier. Our next opponent is Exeter City right below us in the league table. It seems like we're constantly playing against people who are right around us, but we are now in the top six. If you're in the third to the sixth position, you'll be playing in the playoffs to possibly gain promotion into the championship. Uh, Ipswich and Luton are currently in those secured spots. We are fighting for it. There might be a chance. There might be a chance of Salford getting uh, Salford. Sorry, not Sal Salford. Salford going ahead and getting promotion. And the next season possibly playing against us with Kai Rooney at Salford against Cristiano at Norwich. That'd be beautiful. So for that to happen, I need to put in good shifts. For the enhanced targets, I'm going to go with the match rating again. I want to have a blistering performance. Terrible kid choice. Yikes. It's going to be great to watch for you guys. Oh, that's a great ball. Cristiano, first chance of the game. Composure, composure, composure. Yes. What a run once again. Asante finds us with a great ball. After a pass of Kai Rooney into him. Oh man, Asante has been great in this squad, hasn't he? He has been so helpful. Saved us multiple times. And we run right through. Cristiano, solid finish. Look at that. The defenders didn't catch that run. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We got to make those runs inside and then through the defense. That is our, what, our third goal in the seven matches. I think we have three assists so far. So six goal contributions in seven matches. Pretty nice. We got a run for ourselves here down the left-hand side of the pitch, but we have too many people chasing us down. Good pass to the wings. We're moving inside, though. Kai Rooney has me in support. Kai Rooney gets the ball back. Kai! Oh, great shot, Kai. Ah, oh, look at that. That's just, that's just what we love to see. That is just what we absolutely love to see. Where is Kai Rooney? I was looking for him. I should have taken the shot. Oh, go on. I need to take three shots in this game on target. And that was numero dos. Kai, go on then. Good pass from Cristiano. And here goes the team. Rooney in space. I'm expecting the pass. I'm receiving it and I'm scoring it. Let's go. Right before half time, it's a 10.0 rating for CR7 Jr. His finishes are really good. Asante once again with an assist. This man is quality. I wish we could take him to Norwich City as well. What a play that is. Look at that. Asante, good dribbling there. Beautifully found me inside the box. What a goal. Rooney, I'm open. I'm open. 
I'm open. I need one more shot on target. And I'm getting it. Rooney with the assist. Ah, oh, hug me. Freaking hug me, mate. Hug me. Why are we not hugging each other? Why is this so awkward? Mate, we're too good for this league. I'm glad that we're making the move to Norwich because it will be a lot more challenging. It is 3-0. We have achieved all the objectives and we're going to be requesting a sub at this point. A great performance by Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets taken off and saved for the upcoming matches. Three shots on target, three off target. I'm fine with that. And the team gets it done and gets it over the line. It's a 3-0 victory at the end. Rooney got subbed off in the 73rd. I assisted him in this episode. He assisted me. Asante has had incredible performances. And we have established ourselves once again as the main man in the squad in the starting 11. Very happy with that. And uh, now I'm just super excited to see what we can achieve with Salford until the end of the season. More performances like these until January when our move comes to Norwich. Lads, I am so happy with how things have gone. And I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Uh, My Player Series. It has been so perfect the way it's gone so far. Looking back at it, the injury might have been a blessing. At the end of the day, we're now here in League One with Salford City. We are fifth fighting for promotion to join into a league to which Cristiano is going to be going to. I can't wait to see the results of this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to see your feedback on this one. Have a great day. Take care and peace.